Hi everyone, it's Katie. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little wedding haul. Um, just some cute decor that I've accumulated over the past few weeks. I still have like over a year to my wedding, but um, I've been accumulating some stuff because there's been some really good deals at some of these craft stores. So I figured I would go ahead and just pick up some things while they're on sale because, you know, gotta save a buck. So I got some cute stuff, so... I'm going to go ahead and just share with you guys what I got. I went to Hobby Lobby just to look out and see what kind of like decor and things they have. I was there for a specific purpose to make my uh, bridesmaids gifts. So um, those are actually going to be a separate video because I'm doing kind of like a bridesmaid proposal thing. But um, I'm going to post that video in like a couple weeks after I do the proposal thing with my bridesmaids. Just so they don't see what I'm giving them. But um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to leave out the stuff that I bought for the bridesmaid thing. Um, you'll see that in another video. But the one thing that I did buy at Hobby Lobby was this cute sign. Um, it says, love is sweet, please take a treat. We are planning on having kind of like a candy buffet at our wedding. So I thought this would be a cute sign for that. Um, it has just like a little like picture frame holder. And this was retailed for $14.99. But... Um, they were having a 50% off sale, so I got this for like six, seven bucks, which is um, insane. I was going to make something like this, but honestly, it was a lot easier to just buy it for that cheap. So um, I'm excited. It's super cute. Um, that'll look nice on our little candy table that we have. And the other stuff that I bought is for the bridesmaids thing, so you'll see that in a later video. The next place that I went to was AC Moore. Um, they, all the AC Moors by us are like closing for some reason. They just opened two AC Moors in the Cleveland area and now they're closing them like a few months later. I don't know, it's stupid, but apparently Michaels bought them, so as they do. They bought pack tans too, which I'm very sad about. But um yeah. So everything was like 60 to 70% off there, so I figured I would go and see if there's anything like that I need. Um, and I'm really happy that I went because we got so much nice stuff for the wedding at such a great price. Like, they had a ton of glassware, a ton of floral, like, everything you could imagine that you would need, um, at the craft store. And it was super, super low prices. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got. Here's my, uh, receipt. <laughs> so. Sorry. Annoying bag sounds. Okay, so um, going along with that candy theme we have going on, I purchased these uh, small candy favor bags. Each one of these has um, 100 bags, and I bought four, so 400. We're going to have like 100 people at the wedding maybe, but I figured, you know, people are going to probably grab more than one bag of candy, so I got a few I got a few of those, so I make sure we have enough. Um, I'm going to see how much these were. So these were originally $2.99 and I got them for $1.79 each, which was pretty good. Um, about like half off maybe. So that's cool. We needed those. And then I got a ton of ribbon. So this is just some thin silver ribbon. Our colors are um, blue and silver. So I got some of these. I want to tie these around the vases, I think. Um, create a little bow or whatever and that'll be part of like the center pieces so um yeah I got those I got six rolls of them and these were 30 cents a piece they're originally okay well they're originally 50 cents a piece so I saved 20 cents but I mean that's still like super cheap 30 cents for like ribbon I mean come on so yeah that was cool And now the last bit of stuff I got, I'm actually super, super excited about these. So, we ended up finding these really nice vases for the centerpieces. They're blue, which is our color. Um, they're super cute. I want to put some, like, um, baby's breath or some roses or something, just a little bit in these to kind of put in the centerpiece. They're um, pretty big. And here's the kicker, guys. I bought 13 of these. These were originally $4 a piece. I got them for $1. $13 for my centerpieces. That is amazing. 
Um, <laughs> super excited about that. Love some deals. So, yeah, these are going to look cute with, like, um, some silver ribbon around them, maybe some flowers. Um, I'm probably going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do something, like, um, sitting on these. I wanted to kind of get, like, a silver, like, circle kind of thing to sit these on. I think that would be cute. But, um, yeah, I'm super excited. They had just enough of these for what we needed, which is super exciting. Um, I think we're only going to have maybe nine tables, but you never know. We'll put some on the head table, but that's a steal. So I'm super excited about those. But yeah, you guys, that is all for this haul. It wasn't too big. It was just kind of small, but um, we still have a ton of time to uh, pick those out. Ooh, I want to show you guys one more thing. Oh, really quick. All that stuff that I got from AC Moore was only $25 for everything, which is insane. Um, basically $25 for basically our centerpieces pretty much. Um, I'm planning on ordering maybe live flowers for the centerpieces because you can get them at like Sam's Club for like 20 bucks or something like that. Um, so I might go ahead and do that. But I want to show you guys my Save the Dates came in the mail, which is super exciting. I ordered the um, bookmarks from Vista Print. Um, I think it ended up being like $50? No. It ended up being, um, it was $35 and then it was like $12 for shipping because I didn't realize Vista Print is in New Zealand. But like when I ordered my business cards, I'm pretty sure it was like free shipping so I don't understand. But whatever, we got our save the dates in the mail and I'm so excited. So, um, I'm just going to cover up the bottom half so you don't have all information. But I made them look like uh, football tickets. These are some of our engagement photos that we took. Our friend took these for us. We wore Patriots jerseys. Um, Kevin loves the Patriots. So I made it like football themed. We're having like a loose sleeve football themed wedding. Um, these turned out so cute. I'm so excited to send these out. Um, we set it up like how it says like save the date and like this cool font that I found on thefont.com. And then like our date is like the section row and seat number. Ah, they're just so cute. I'm so excited, you guys. I actually designed these myself because I'm awesome like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I made these myself. I just kind of went into like Photoshop and um, designed those. So that was fun. Um, actually, I use GIMP because your girl is cheap and doesn't want to pay like $50 a month for Photoshop. But yeah, I'm very excited to send those out. I just have to finish collecting everybody's addresses and I have to get some envelopes for those and buy postage and all that fun stuff. So yeah, but that is all for the haul that I have so far, you guys. Um, I'll be sharing more stuff as I acquire it. Um, still kind of figuring everything out, but um, we still have a while. So there'll be more fun videos like this as we get closer to the date. Honestly, I'm just excited for all the DIYs and potential videos. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next one. Um, comment down below any other wedding-related videos you guys want to see. I can do maybe, like, a Q&A or something if you want, or, like, um, budgeting or something. Just if you get any anything you guys are curious about, ask down below, and I'll try to put it into a video. Because I want to help you guys have a nice, budget-friendly wedding as well. So... Um, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you guys want to keep up with this series. I think I'll make a playlist so you can go ahead and follow that as well. I'll have it linked down below. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!